the moment we wake up early in the morning and start with our daily chores, we depend on various items. You may say there are many in the list. Yes, but most of the items used by us are made up of a single material collectively known as plastic. Yes, the toothbrush handle, the comb, plates, bottles, lunch boxes, bodies of refrigerators, water purifiers, laptops and so many other articles. The list would be endless. So are all these articles made up of plastic? Yes, but they are quite different from each other. So how is that possible? Well, it is possible because plastic itself comes in various forms. What do we mean by this? To understand this, let us draw two figures. Can you tell me the difference between the two? Yes, the first one is linear in fashion. On the other hand, the second one is interlinked. This type is called the cross-linking type. But why are we studying these now? We know that plastic is a polymer. Now the various monomeric units in the different plastics are arranged in different patterns. And what would these patterns be? Yes, they are either linearly arranged or they are arranged in a cross-linked manner. Not only the arrangement, but even the difference in monomeric units that make up the polymer is responsible for giving us the various forms. However, plastics are usually classified in two major categories. Let us take two commonly used examples. One is the handle of our frying pan, while the other is a simple water bottle. What will happen when you heat the two? Needless to say, the bottle will melt within no time but the handle will just heat up without much physical change. Can you tell me why? If both are plastics, then why is there so much difference? Well, that is because the two are different types of plastics. The first one which makes up the handle is called the thermosetting plastic, while the other type is referred to as the thermoplastic. Looking at the incidence of heating, can you tell me the basic difference between the two? That's correct. Thermosetting plastics are those which do not melt on heating. While manufacturing the particular article, when the plastic is casted into mould, it takes up the form permanently. It cannot be remoulded later. The two most commonly used examples of thermosetting plastics are melamine and bakelite. And where are they used? Melamine is known to withstand high amounts of heat. It is therefore used in making tiles, floorings and kitchenware. Bakelite on the other hand is used in making handles of kitchen utensils and switches as it's a poor conductor of heat and electricity. So this was about thermosetting plastics. What could be the properties of thermoplastics then? In contrast to the thermosetting type, these can be moulded or simply melted on heating. Yes. Thermoplastics can be easily bent or heated to remould it into various forms. And do we know any such type used daily? Absolutely! Polythene and PVC are the most common ones. Where do we use polythene? Yes, right from bags to the adhesive tapes, polythene is used in various forms. And what is PVC? It stands for polyvinyl chloride. PVC comes in two distinct forms. The first one is hard or rigid PVC that is used in making strong structures like construction pipes. In contrast, the other type is soft PVC which is used for making containers and bottles used daily by us. These were a few examples explaining how types of plastics are used. But can you tell me why plastic is a choice against so many other naturally occurring materials? What properties of plastics make it a preferred material over others on the list? Well, in order to know this, you will have to watch our next video.